Welcome back to the channel. I haven't done a video for quite a while to be honest. My Porsche 911 is just still sat there. That's at the moment off the road uh, just because it's winter really. Nothing nothing else. Uh, it needs an MOT. needs a bit of work doing for the MOT on with the truck which I'll eventually get around to. Still got the Boxster there and uh, we're now moving on to door to number two car. So there we go. Fiesta EcoBoost. Daughter's number one car is at the back, Fiat 500, which is still running well. So we're now moving on to daughter number two's first car, which is an EcoBoost. And ironically, she's now got the newest car in the family. So uh, what have we got? Well, we've got a one litre EcoBoost Z-Tec, which is very nice blue colour, four door, 100,000 miles, quality assured, so it's great. Uh, you may spot the first problem, it's got a flat battery, it's on about 102,000 miles, no body damage, not cat S, not cat N, nice and straight, nice and clean inside, but the real thing is the engine, by now you'll know me, I don't buy anything that works well, I always have to buy something with a problem for a challenge, so this has got the classic death rattle of an EcoBoost, which basically it's got a wet belt, which is basically a cam belt in oil. Cam belt 100,000 miles in hot oil starts to degrade, the bits get sucked up into the pump, into the gauze of the pump. The pump then can't pump any oil around it, starves the top of the engine of oil, and it has a horrible death rattle noise. Now, I have momentarily just started this just to see how bad it is, and it does sound very top endy. Now, I've bought this with the proviso for the cost that it needs a new engine. So, worst case scenario, take the engine out, put a new engine in. But, that would be no fun, would it? If we just take the engine out, put a new one in and it works, that's the end of the series. What would be more interesting is, can we save this engine? There's a cover missing off here, which I haven't got. But it looks like none of these bolts have been disturbed. So I would say no one has actually been into this engine to see how bad it is. My theory is, strip the top of the engine down, let's have a look at the cams, see if they look worn, get it in the garage, get it on the ramps, get the sump off, drain the oil out, let's look if there's any metal particles in the oil, if we've got that then that's a bit of a thumbs down. Um, have a look at the oil, the oil pump's going to be blocked for sure, because that's the cause of the problem. We're going to then take the baffle plate off underneath, take the big ends off, the main bearings off, have a look if they've got any damage, assess it then, so we've looked at the top, looked at the bottom, looked at the quality of the oil, and we'll take it from there. If it's completely hard, it's a write-off, and then it's going to have a new engine in. The easiest thing for that is to take all the front end off the car, and then a bit like the Fiat 500, rather than lift the engine out, you're sort of pulling the engine forwards. You, well, you've got to take it off the gearbox and pull it forwards. However, I would just like to be able to get this engine running again, but it just sees how much it costs, you know, if we're into regrinding the crank, doing the top end. Obviously the cam belt hasn't snapped because it's ran before, so we haven't got any bent valves. Let's just see if it's recoverable. If it isn't, worst case scenario, new engine. First thing you'll notice, if you watch the first series on uh, doing my daughter's Fiat 500, the lighting was appalling. Well, I've now got LED lighting in the garage. Okay, so let's take a look at the patient. So what have we got? We've got a one litre, three cylinder engine. So three cylinders, one, two, three. Turbo, turbo pipe all the way around. So air filter, the air comes in that way. Let's do it that way. Through the turbo, it's got an intercooler, which you can't quite see, but it's down there. Let's get a light on that. So it's got an intercooler just there, and then it goes into the um, engine there, through the throttle body. I've got to say, I'm not a fan of this. Reminds me of some sort of lawnmower engine cowling. They could have made that a bit prettier, couldn't they, with a turbo at the front? Anyway, um, it has oil in it. Somewhat. Eh, normal colour. It's not silver, it's not sparkling, so that's a positive result at the moment. The car's actually done 102,000 miles 
uh, and it was last serviced at about 99,000 miles so it's not done many miles since it's got a full service history so it's always been serviced and had the oil changes done um, collecting leaves already and uh, basically the story goes that an older couple had it or maybe that's always the way no one's going to say a boy racer had it are they really uh, an older couple had it and it just went bang on them so the question would always be is how long oh I was looking to wear that t-shirt tonight I wondered where it had gone anyway um, the question will be is how long has it ran when the oil light came on and it started making a knocking noise that will be the death of the engine so what I'm going to do I'm going to do it in a controlled way like I say ultimately new engine not a problem but what we're going to do we're going to what are we going to do we're going to jack the car up in the air that's what we're going to do we're going to take the oil out and drop it into a pan and have a look at it and if it looks like silver paint we know we've got big problems then we're going to take the sump off have a look inside the sump look if the oil pump's blocked we'll take the baffle plate off we'll have a look at the crank bearings and the big end bearings and we'll see what they're like if they've got sign of wear then it's getting a bit dodgy probably needs a crank regrind or a polish then we're going to come up the top here in fact i might do that first actually let's do the work at the top first we're going to take the cover off it's going to be done anyway at some point take the cover off and we'll see the wet wet, wet belt through here I know it's not snapped because it's ran, so we haven't bent any valves. And I just want to take some of the caps off the cams, see if they're starving of oil, and just get a feel for which way we're going to go with this engine. So let's crack on. I've never worked on one of these before. The last Fiesta I actually worked on was probably my XR2 Turbo, which was many, many years ago. Uh, so you may ask yourself, where do you start? Well, I'll tell you where you start on a cold day. You start with a hat on, a warmer coat on, and a decent brew and Ford are really clever they've actually made a drinks holder look just here it's just perfect for the for the beverage so let's um, get down there a little bit and decide what we're going to start doing I think we'll start taking this charge air pipe off first cause... so let's make a start getting these charge air pipes off uh, I might skip some bits of this because it might get a bit dull and a bit slow. But let's see how we go. So this is a 2015 car, so what does that make it? That makes it coming up to eight years old. And ironically, it'll be the youngest member of the house with the newest car. And ironically, the oldest member of the house with the oldest car. So we're going to try and keep those clips on there so we know where they are from. Now we need to find a space to put all the stuff. Right, so that looks like it's fastened on there. So you've got to remember this is run um, with low oil, let's say, low oil pressure. But there is evidence of oil in there. There was oil in where the fuel pump is. There's the odd line that you can probably just see if I wipe it with my shitty dirty cloth. You can probably just see a mark there on that one. Let me just show you just there oh we get the camera in the right place 
just there there's a line there but it's not a line like an edge you can pick up um, same on that one again it's not an edge picking up oops sorry on that one there it's not an edge that's picked up I mean whose idea is that you can just see the graininess of it and it'll start to fall apart and you can see well, I think you can see there's some splits in there so I am optimistic at the moment that the problem is these here were starved of oil making the noise I can't see any metal in the bottom there so what I'm going to do is take one of these caps off here and have a look what the bearing face is like. Right, the moment of truth. What does this cam bearing look like? Oh yes. See so if you can see that. That is oiled. It's not dry. It's oiled. I will need to get the torque figures for these. Let's have a look at the next one. Yep, again. Oil. No metal, no metal particles. Bear in mind this engine has done 100,000 miles. That is not damaged. So, so far it's looking good. I've still got three to check, but it's looking good at the top end. Now if I take the bottom end apart and the big end bearings look equally good then I'm prepared to try new belts on it, clean the pump out and give it a roll of the dice. On this one just a bit of a line but again, nothing much. Nicely oiled. So, at this stage, I'm thinking on the an analysis, or diagnosis, what do you want to call it? Diagnosis, yeah. It's looking promising. I'm just going to bring you in on the engine here and show you what I've found so far, which I'm thinking is looking pretty positive. Fuel pump there, so the cam is operated by the belts here, and that will have a little cam lobe on the end which will push up and down and push the fuel through. You can see these, there's probably a little bit of a pickup there, which is not much, it's not nothing I can feel with my nail. I'm not going to get upset about that. I've had all these six caps off, which were only plain aluminium, and basically if these were starved of oil, they'd have just ate themselves up. By the belt deteriorating here, I mean you can feel it, and then blocking the pump at the bottom, which has been reducing the oil pressure. So I think, fingers crossed, we could be all right. I'm gonna call this part one. Part one of the Fiesta, from a second daughter. She's got a driving test soon, so hopefully we can get it up and running before a driving test. I'm not gonna say when that is. Well, let's see if we can get it back on the road before a driving test and she's got a nice car and let's see what happens now if my friends are watching this they do say i have the look of the devil with buying cars and fixing them let's hope this is continuing now for the other cars i've got I've still got them still got the boxer outside still got the 911 which i'm going to be working on because we're going to le mans this year because it's 100 years le mans yay so i'm going to get it ready for that so there'll be a lot of features on that car also the poor old truck not run since pandemic got to get that up and running so please like and subscribe but for now it's a one litre fiesta eco boost let's see if we can resurrect the engine not just fit a new engine right bye for now see you soon bye